Yeah, interesting, isn't it? They're going off now, but they're worse than that yesterday. Do they hurt? No. I can smell cooking. You smell. You're right. Where's it coming from? It's not cooking, it's burning. Something's burning. I'm going to tell Patty. Patty, Patty, there's something burning. Yes, we smelled it and then we saw it. It's up the end there. That's fog. It isn't. It's coming up from down below. Then it's Archie Cochran smoking that Cornish shag of his, I bet. It isn't, Patty. It's green it's smoke. It's black green. smoke. You go and look. Hey, fire the number two hole, button. What? Hey, you need the captain below. Right. You two kids get aft. Fire the number two hole. Smoke coming through the bulkhead doors. Just spotted it, sir. You told the mate? Not yet. How bad is it? Pretty bad, sir. See what it's all about, Mr. Bruce. Whatever it is, isolate those cases of explosive on the port side. I want some of you to get down and hold out those explosives. Take Black and Johnson with him, Aye, aye, sir. Come on. Put those crackings back in the hole he's working. at once, madam. Hurry up now. Leave all that.
wake up. Wake up. Are you all right? I, I don't know. Well, stand up and see. Does anything hurt? Yes. I'm frightened. There was a big bang just when Patty called me. He must be out there. Never mind that blasted word. Come back here. Come back, I tell you. Give me that. Hurry. Follow me now. Don't move from that spot or I break your necks. from the old ship before she's blown to blazes. But she's blown up once. There's another couple of cases of dynamite waiting to follow the other fellow. What happened to Auntie? She's in another boat. We'll catch up with her in a couple of shakes. Ahoy there! Ahoy! Ahoy there! Can you hear anything? Your young ears are better than mine. No, nothing, Mr. Buck. Ah, yeah, it won't be long. Ahoy there! They'd never go off without us. Ahoy there! Ahoy! 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 That's enough for me, Kiefer. You can't go stuffing that board now. Hand them to me. I read a story once about some sailors who were shipwrecked for weeks until they hadn't anything left to eat or drink, and the sharks rolled around them, and then one of them went mad. Well, did they off that kind of chatter? It was only a story. I don't care what it was. Cock up that bottle and cover them biscuits. I'm still hungry. Put them away, I said. We've got to save some for tomorrow. We we'll won't be here tomorrow. I thought you said we'd catch up with Auntie Maud, and a big ship would come and pick us all up. So it will, so it will. Only it's very difficult for them to see us at night. Mr. Button. What is it now? Are you sure you're going the right way? Now, see here, son. I don't want a lad of your age questioning where I'm going. You know something funny? What? We don't even know each other's real name. I know yours is Michael. Michael David Reynolds. My name is Emily Joyce Foster. According to the book here, it says that you should say how do you do, and I should say how do you do too. But I don't know what you do when you know each other already. Lie down on the bottom of the boat, the pair of you, and pull the blankets over you. But I'm not tired. Well, you do as I tell you. You've had enough for one day. Now keep close together, cover yourselves up, and I'll sing you to sleep. And I don't want any more out of you after I'm through with it. Do you understand? What if a big ship comes in the night? I'll be away. Only mother once told me that when I was born, the day that I first saw the light, I looked down the street on that very first morning, and I let a wild crow of delight. Now most newborn babies are born in a hut. And start with the sorrowful squall. 